So I'm currently in Spain um, at a place called Mallorca, um, close to Palma Beach Resort. <coughs> so um, I'm playing, staying in a place called Cathedral Basilica de Santa Maria and it's not far from Palma Mallorca Beach. Hey, um, since I'm in Spain, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we're currently uh, in lockdown mode uh, and I'm doing some work for some clients. So um, I want to talk to you today about how do we transform data um, into a more visually stimulating way. Sometimes people struggle to tell the message from what they see in the data. Um, so what I have for in front of me is the report for Coca-Cola uh, 2019. We're going to move to page 11 and I'll give you an example of how we can um, tell the message a little bit better. So let me just increase the size. Okay, so you see here, um, this is the financial highlights. <coughs> Um, so the message here is in a tabular form, right? So let's just start. Um, so year ended 31 December, got 2017, 2018, 2019. So the message um, we want to tell you is that revenues have pretty much declined in 2018 and then it's gone up to about 37, 000, um, 37 billion um, US dollars and then consolidated net income has pretty much um, increased dramatically over the last two years. Before we can think about what graph we can use, let's look at the sample data that I've got for Coca-Cola. Um, so this net operating revenues, the 36 billion, um, in 2017 and then it decreases and increases here and then you've got the breakdown between the different types of revenues uh, per the different products so you've got the sparkling soft drinks um, the juices the coffees and the energy energy drinks and you can see the breakdown so I think each product basically following the same trend so something in 2018 um, it, it seems like not a lot not a lot of consumers were um, buying as many soft drinks maybe because of health reasons and people are becoming more health conscious so if you want to start um, doing the graph what I would suggest is let's let's do some sort of um, calculation that's going to work out the, let's say the percentage or, or the, the, the difference, the variance. So let's just say variance here. Okay, um, let's just left align that. So let's just say, so for all these products, copy, paste it down here. So let's just see what the movement from 2018 to 2017 is. So let's just say that, less, that. So you can see uh, one, 1 billion less in 2018. So it's right through across all the products. And then let's do the same for 2019 increase. Like that. Okay, perfect. So the graph. I was thinking of using is if you go insert, let's just put the dates here. Cool. You can use a bar chart, but I was thinking let's see if we can use the side by side chart. Um, the, 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 sorry, the horizontal chart. So let's right click, format axes. Let's put the labels low and 
then let's add the data labels in here. Add data labels. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can rather put that. Let's do that. And let's change the scaling. Right click, format axis. Change that to about 60,000, I think. Right, cool. And then what we can do is we can delete this data label. We can remove the axes. Let's make the graph a little bit smaller. Cool, now we can add the sales data. Add data labels. Perfect. Now, so now we've got sales for. Let's just add the legend. Data. And then let's just call this one 2018. And then this. Okay, so let's insert. Uh, I've inserted this variance graph from there. Uh, now we can see that looking at this um, visually stimulating graph, if you want to show it to your managers or you want to um, present it other than a table because sometimes when you look at the table you can't really see what's going on and then from the graph you can actually see that um, the products are actually uh, sparkling soft drinks let me just make this one a little bit smaller so it matches up there there we go um, let's just change this uh, change this and then make this one a little bit bigger there we go so now we can see that uh, sparkling soft drinks is actually our biggest uh, contributor to the net operating revenues.